back to the channel or if you're new here hi i'm z your fashion loving bookworm and uh you know just a general shopper i got a lot of those problems so if you like interesting books interesting fun fashion finds you should definitely think about subscribing i'd really appreciate it so today as you can tell by the title it's our q3 book haul so pretty much it's all the books like if you've never watched these videos before it's all the books i've bought in the third quarter of the year so with that being said i actually don't know how many books it is because i forgot to count so let's get started yes yeah 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 i love you oh thank you oh thank you so much oh my goodness you're so good your boy So starting with one of the books I got for this, we're starting with Shatter Me by Tahir Mafi. Everybody and their mother knows what this, this book, the series is about, and I'm like, you know what? All right, I'll try it. So pretty much our main character's name is Juliet and her touch is fatal. If you don't know, this is the synopsis on the back. And then I guess she's put into a prison and then this is everything else you know it's her story so yeah but i know there's a lot of other books and novellas and like the reading order i've looked it up for plenty of other readers um well, from plenty of other readers but yeah i'm actually like really excited i think i want to start this one sooner than later it's not technically on my fall tbr but on my october tbr just because i have so many books from my carryover anyways on to the next one this one so this is seraphim academy this is by elizabeth briggs and pretty much so our main character people think she's half angel half human and she's gonna go to like this the seraphim academy so it's pretty much the school in regards to like these magical creatures or so with being i don't know i haven't actually read this one yet but i am really looking forward to it but the cool thing is she's not half human she's half demon so that's like the little it, it's on the it's on the back no spoilers or anything like that but yeah it's a, it just sounded so cool and i think this is multiple books in one i'm not 100 percent positive but if it's not that's fine i'll i'll, I'll still enjoy it. i don't mind long books you're chatting too much. I also got Beautiful Graves by LJ Shin. I don't know what this is about. So, okay. You know what? I'll show you what gets me with a book every single time. I like the cover. I like, well, I mean, I like LJ Shin and Parker S. Huntington's work together. So I've not actually, I've never actually read LJ Shin's work on their own. But what really got me was this part. It says, Scarred by guilt, carved by tragedy, healed by love. I was like, say less. That, that's what had me. So, yeah. I also have The Reaper. This is by Nikki J. Summers. These, this is the second book in the Soldiers of Anarchy series. Um, I almost finished The Psycho. So these are dark. It's a dark romance. Um, pretty much, definitely check your trigger warnings. Um, yeah, but so this... The Sons of Anarchy, The Soldiers of Anarchy, I was like, The Sons of Anarchy, <laughs> I love that show. The Soldiers of Anarchy follow this group of people in this city, and pretty much they're, you know, trying to wipe out the trash, you know, messes with them, they're like top dogs in the city, and, you know, they're just taking care of business, and it is a dark romance, so he's, he's probably doing some not nice things, and she's like, wow, that's hot or not at first because she's like mm, creeper but then she finds out you know you know how they go and then i got blood orange by karina yeah karina haley or is it hail haley or hail i don't know you let me know in the comments below so i got this one supposedly it's like um like a dracula retelling or something not so much a retelling but like a it's a vampire romance <laughs> 
I don't know why I said Dracula. But so this one's a vampire romance. I'm not sure if there's trigger warnings or anything like that. Oh, I just, I just read the dedication. Oh, I'm crying. Okay, so get this. This is the dedication. It says to anyone who has felt alienated, unappreciated, and misunderstood. There's nothing wrong with you. You just need to find your people. That's the sweetest dedication. I love that. I don't see any triggers, so... Yes, there is. So, check the content warning. But it's vampires! So it'd be a great spooky season book for anybody. So, we also have Bound by the Shadow Princess. This is by Ruby Dixon. Um, gosh, honestly, I bought this in like July I don't even remember what it's about but this is the author of Ice Planet Barbarians so I was like you know what let's let's see I love Ice Planet Barbarians what else she got then we also got The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller I really liked the spray edges like look how pretty oh no these are stenciled edges I really liked them they're very pretty and look at this look at this map wow can you see it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and then the naked hardcover like girl she put in work do I remember what this book is about no well I read you a snippet all right here we go I've never found the body of the first and only boy who broke my heart and they never will wait what okay they've never found the body of the first and only boy who broke my heart and they never knew. Sis! We support women's rights, but we support women's wrong! <laughs> okay, so I also got Reckless. This is by Lauren Roberts. This is the sequel to Powerless? Yep, that's what it's called, Powerless. So I got it. I haven't read Powerless yet, but I'm gonna get there. There's just so many books that sound awesome, and then I get distracted by my Kindle. Okay. We also have Dishonestly Yours by Kristen Becker Ritchie. This is um, a new book in their, you know, the Kristen and Becky, Becky universe, I suppose. So. Oh my god, there's a spider on the cover. Why would you do that to me? Okay, okay. Ignoring the ugly spider. So, on the back it says, Starting fresh is the only way Phoebe can escape a life of crime. But her best friend's older brother complicates honest dreams in this gripping new series from the authors of the Addicted series. Like, that sounds cool. Sign me up. I know there's spiders on the cover. I'm a scared of spiders. But I'm gonna read it. We also have beautiful villains. Um, this one is pretty much a Yeah, so okay, this one is super cool. So it's actually kind of like a great Gatsby retelling, kind of reimagining. And he's like the MMC is more than he seems, like he's giving off like magical fey esque powers. And it's, you know, about him. But it's like a great Gatsby retelling. So I was like, that sounds cool. And then we also have The Lost Story by Meg Schaefer. This is one of my book of the month books. I forgot what this is about. A salvi. Evidently, it is inspired by C.S. Lewis, The Chronicles of Narnia. This wild and wondrous novel is a fairy tale for grown-ups who still knock on the back of wardrobes just in case. From the author of The Wishing Game. That sounds cute. I'm gonna check my wardrobes. <laughs> Just kidding. We also have Leather and Lark. This is the sequel to Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver. Do I have to explain this one? Everybody and their mom knows about this one. So, we're not gonna explain it. On to the next, because we got a lot. Lords of Pain. This book is by Angela Lawson and Samantha Rue. And this is the first book in the Royals of Forsyth. Forsyth? Forsyth. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. Look at this cover. It's giving dark romance. I like it. I'm not crazy about the back because there's a person on there. I like the skull though. So pretty much the main, the MF, the MFC, yeah, main female character. So pretty much she is kind of bullied at the beginning and then she leaves this town but then she has to come back to this town because something crazy happens and she ends up back with her bullies and yeah they're they're quite powerful men at this point so i'm excited check your trigger warnings ah it's a dark romance next 
we have Wing So Wicked. This is by Emily Blackwood and it says a Golden City novel. So this is the first book and I'm not I'm not kidding. I don't remember why I got this book. I'm pretty sure I bought it on Amazon or I saw it from my Pinterest board because I don't know Pinterest recommends me a lot of books and they sound cool when I go to buy them and then I forget what they're about so here we go we'll read up on this one Hunter has fought for survival her entire life raised under Lord the master of assassins in Midgrave she has spent over 20 years learning to kill the blood hungry depraved vampires that lurk in the darkness Hunter is the most lethal fae in the kingdom which is why Lord chooses her to complete the next mission oh vampires Celeste I'm interested. You, yeah. Do you need me to read more? I said fae and vampires. You don't need me to read more. I'll do it. Just for y'all. Just for y'all. Okay, here we go. Hunter must survive Moria Seminary and make it into the Golden City, the mysterious elite society of the few remaining angels. Angels? Okay. <laughs> and the mate. A uh, few remaining angels and the magic fae who live in luxury with no crime, no poverty, and certainly no vampires. Only when she arrives at the academy, she's forced to room with Wolf, the terrifying fallen angel who happens to know her assassin identity. Determined to keep her head down in Moria, Hunter tries her best to ignore Wolf. Over time, though, he not only becomes the only person she can lean on, but the one who might keep her alive through the life-threatening test to get into the Golden City. A wolf and his huntress, an academy designed to break them. Hunter will do anything to please the assassin master, but wolf begins to test her in ways she never imagined. Is she strong enough to stick to the mission, or will new truth and alliances put everything at risk? That sounds so good! Oh my gosh! <laughs> now I'm getting all excited about books I already own. <laughs> That's the best part, okay? That's the best part. I already own it, so now I'm, I'll read it whenever. We also have what did you do this is the sequel to how do you feel um pretty much the honestly where the sequel left where the first one left off i don't know why i haven't read this yet because i was like what the actual free hole lights so pretty much our mfc she thought she saw fairies when she was really little and then she grew up to study butterflies and then she accidentally falls into a fairy portal and it's a dark romance between her and the unseelie king he doesn't like her. He wants to because he thinks she's there to kill him. So that's that and this is the sequel. We've also got Of Blades and Wings. This is by Eliza Rain. This is the Flame Curse Fae book one. Um, So I read her A Court of Greed and something. A Court of Ruin and I don't even. What's, what's it called? Chumshimani. I don't know what it's called but I liked her writing style in that book so I got this it sounded cool oh, so pretty much princess Madiva is broken her fame magic doesn't work her illness will kill her and nobody knows she exists Ooh. so when the gods select her to leave her tower in the ice court and train to be a Valkyrie at Featherblade she's pretty sure they've made a terrible mistake I'm guessing that is some kind of Academy so we're giving you know lost princess maybe I mean nobody knows about her she might not be lost they just don't know but she's gonna train to be a bopper that sounds cool too all right this is taking a lot of time we have filthy rich fay by Geneva Lee uh, I actually read filthy rich vampire just the first one I need to finish the series but I really liked the first one I liked her writing style I liked the character so I was like you know what this one's about fay I'm gonna try it out anyways and then we have Lord of the Fading Land. This is by C.L. Lewis. I almost said C.L. Lewis. C.L. Wilson. Sorry. And this is the first book in the Terran Soul series. So, uh, pretty much. Hey, that's a lady. Okay, so. This is the back. After nearly destroying the world out of grief, legendary immortal Fey King reigned here in Seoul, vanished into the Fading Lands for a thousand years. But when an ancient and familiar evil arises to threaten the Fey and Terran alike, he returns to the mortal world to seek the key to their salvation. Rain's search leads him to Eliseta, a woodcarver's daughter who suffers from strange dreams connected to the secret and powerful magic she possesses. Mysterious and ethereal, Ellie's soul sings to Rain's, an impossible, undeniable bond that blooms into a deep, faded love. 
Now as they grow closer, Rain and Ellie must navigate court politics and family expectations, all while searching for a way to stop the rising darkness, a darkness that may be tied to Ellie's magic. That just looked so good, so I had to get it. Now, we have a book I'm very excited to read, but it's a shiz thick, shizzle thickums. It's claimed by Lucifer. This is by Elizabeth Briggs as well. So, yeah. This one, I know for sure there's more than one book in here. The Seraphim Academy, I don't know. But this one, I know there's more than one book in here. So, pretty much. This is what got me. I made a deal with the devil. Now he claims I'm his fated mate. What? What? Fated mates? Okay, with the devil girl. Sis. Okay. Honestly, I'm so weak. <laughs> But I'm just like, that sounds cool. I'm gonna read it. All right, we also have Dreadful. This is by Greer Rivers. So this is another dark romance. Um, so, you know, check your trigger warnings. But pretty much what got me is it was a retelling of Sweeney Todd with a Medusa twist to it. So I was like, that sounds cool. I enjoyed Sweeney Todd the movie. I don't know if that's a book, but I enjoyed the movie. Okay, with Johnny Depp because I love him. Kind of. Well, I, I was obsessed with him in Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> But yeah, so because it's Sweeney Todd, I wanted to actually like give this book a chance and it's a Medusa retelling. So if you actually know the story of Medusa, hmm, it's, it's, it's deep. Trigger turning, you know. Honestly, Greek mythology should just have trigger warnings all across it because those gods are fucked. Oh, I said it backward. Sorry. Anyways, so next book we have House of Beating Wings. This is by Al. It's not by Al. He just... This is by Olivia Wildenstein, and this is the first book in the Kingdom of Crows, and I'm not going to lie, it looks cool, and Runic said it was unput downable. What's this about? Alright, free the crows, Fallen, oh, Fallon and they will make you queen. All her life, Fallon Rosie has been, has been marked, has been marked by her half humanity. Nearly every pure-blooded fairy at court has looked down on her for her curved ears, lack of magic, and fondness for water serpents, but never Dante Reggio, the Prince of Luce. The flirtatious royal has held Fallon's heart ever since Dante gave Fallon her first kiss. But as doubts creep in, a, in of how a fey prince and a halfling could ever have lasting happiness together, Fallon finds hope in an oracle's prophecy she will be queen. But first, she must free the crows. Confused yet determined, Fallon embarks on the hunt that could give her everything she's wanted, but mo but couldn't have power, respect, perhaps even acceptance, and most desirably her prince. But unknown to Fallon, her quest will unleash more than her just her destiny. And when the ancient demon awakens, he plans to have Fallon all to himself. Oh my goodness, a left triangle. Oh, you're sitting on my books, Bobby. It's fine, it's fine. I'll just move them. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. You don't move. Sir. Yes, okay. Next. Oh my goodness, I almost choked on my own saliva. We have Chasm. This is a second book in the Glacian trilogy. And this is by Stacy McEwen. Um I haven't read the first book. It's called Ledge, but I I finally found the second in the paperback, so I got it. That is why I have it. That is all you're gonna get. Then we have Darker Strength by Katie Robert. I will literally buy anything this woman writes, okay? Anything. I'll read it. I'll read it on my Kindle. I'll buy it when I find it. I love her. But this is the newest book in the Dark Olympus series. And this one is Adrian and the Minotaur. So, yes. Don't know what it's about because I still need to finish all of the others. Next. We have The Losers Part 1 and 2 by Harley LaRue. Um, so, dark romance, check your trigger warnings. Um, and this is following the prequel, which was The Dare. I actually read The Dare. Um, yeah, so now I eventually want to read these. I mean, I really loved her, like, Harley LaRue's, um, like, her Souls trilogy, so it that sounds good. And it's Why Choose. So good. Also, let's keep going. We have... The Sinner by Chantal Tessier. This is a dark college romance. It's called, um, yeah, it's a dark college romance. Check the trigger warnings. I feel like everybody and their mother knows about this series, so I'm not really going to go into it, but I do finally want to actually read it. Oh, better covers, though. Okay, next we have 
a werewolf guide to seducing a vampire this is by sarah holly i have two of her other books and i feel like they're great spooky season reads because you know you've got werewolves vampires it's a cutesy love story so here we have ben rosewood never meant to be bound to a vampire succubus especially one as sexy yet terrifying as eleanor Bettencourt Devereaux but he has to admit there are some fantastic perks and I was like that's not so cute look at the cover she's adorable oh there she is adorable so yeah and honestly her first two sounded great so I just wanted and this was the next one so it's like bet do I buy a whole entire series without reading the first one yes I do mind your business next we have Daydream by Hannah Grace I don't even need to explain this one because Everyone and their mother is obsessed with this story. Have I read Day Icebreaker or Wildfire? No, but do I still have Daydream? Yes, because. Next, we have Possessing Her Book One, Once Your Mind by Morgan Bridges. This is a dark romance. I'm pretty sure it's like Stalker. Yeah, definitely Stalker, maybe. A courtroom? Wait a minute. The Tormentor. Calista belongs to me. She doesn't, she just doesn't know it. The first time we met, I wanted her. The next time I was obsessed, I watched her, I followed her. It only deepened my need to possess her. When she's mine, I'm never letting her go. The, tar uh, the Target. Hayden Bennett is a monster in and out of the courtroom. Unfortunately, I need his help. What was supposed to be a simple transaction turns into something else. Something intense. He's always there when I need him, but I don't know if trusting him is a good idea. It says check your content warnings before reading. So, you know, check it. It is Stalker. I was right the first time. Okay. We also have Hera. This is by Jennifer Saint. This was another one of my Book of the Month books. I don't even know what this one's about, but it was giving Greek goddess because of Hera. So I was like, okay, bye. I don't want to go into that one. We've been here for long enough. Queen Bee by Juno Dawson. This is actually the prequel to Her Majesty's Royal Cabinet. Cabinet? Coven. I can read. Her Majesty's Royal Coven. And then the one after that is... What is it? Huh? Ah. So the one after that is a Shadow Cabinet. That's why I got them confused. And then there's Queen Bee. This is the sequel, but you're, I guess you're supposed to actually read the first two and then the sequel. And then the third book should be coming out either the end of this year or the beginning of next year. I don't know yet, but I got this one. Have I read the other two books yet? No. I'll get there. I'll get there. Oh, I have to sneeze. Nope, we're fine. Okay, so I... Uh, mm, Okay, so I also got Addicted for Now by Kristen Becker Ritchie. This is the third book in the Ad Addicted series. And this one is still following Lillian Lowe. I haven't read the other two, but I'm going to get there. Then I got Kiss the Sky by Kristen Becker Ritchie as well. This one is actually going to follow Rose Calloway and Connor Cobalt. And you know what? Larry says they're awesome, so I'm gonna read them, okay? Just gotta get there. So I bought them because I found it. Honestly, whenever I find series that I have started, I will just up and buy the next one just because it makes sense in my brain. Is it always good? Because I, maybe I haven't read the whole series yet. No, it's not, but I'm gonna do it anyways because that's how my brain operates. I'm a series person, just like I was like a albums person. Anyways, on to the next one. So we have Zodiac Academy, The Awakening, as told by the boys. No, you don't technically have to read this. Um, it's kind of like an add-on, but I did want to read this. And also, like I've already read the first two. I'm on The Reckoning. And yeah, I really like Zodiac Academy. So I want this. I will literally buy every book in the series because I just enjoy it so much. On to the next one. This is Woven by Gold. This is by Elizabeth. Carolyn Peckham and Susan Valenti, just in case. Okay, back to this. This is Woven by Gold. This is the second book in the Beasts of Briar book. And this is by Elizabeth Helen. So pretty much the first book is actually, it's um, Bonded by Thorns and it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. It's white shoes and they're fake. I love that. I love that. Give me a white shoes any day. Especially with Faye. 
Okay, next we have the Mind F series by S.T. Abbey. I do want to read this series. I honestly don't plan on reading anytime soon, but I did want to get it because I heard on TikTok it's going to stop being published, so I needed it. R.I.P. S.T. Abbey. Next, next, next. A Princess to the Villain. This is by Hannah Nicole Mayer. This is the second book to the Assistant to the Villain. Um, I haven't read that book, but I got the second one. I don't know what it's about, but I got it. Okay. What was that dance? That dance is awesome. You're welcome. Hi, <laughs> oh, Other stack. Come hither. Okay, okay, so we also have Carnage by Chantal Tessier. This is the, I think this is the fifth book in the Lord series. I'm not even sure. But I got it, because I found it at the Walmart, not the Walmart. I found it at Barnes in Pueblo. Dude, Pueblo's Barnes freaking slaps. Especially when it comes to dark. I don't even know which book this is in the series. I'd actually have to like Google that. Yeah, I'd have to Google that. Check your Trinigar warnings. It's a dark romance. Oh, a dark revenge romance. So really check your trigger warnings. Next, we have Losing Wendy by T.A. Lawrence. This is pretty much clearly a Peter Pan retelling and I'm not even going to lie. Um, so T.A. Lawrence actually had, like I saw this on her TikTok and she was just like talking about it and I was like, you had me a Peter Pan retelling and that's all I know. Yeah. And that's all I needed to know. So that's all you need to know because we are besties and you know, Peter Pan. I still need to get my Tinkerbell tattoo. I have my Alice one, but I need my Tinkerbell one. Yeah, need to stop being cheap and go get that. Next, I have a word so fitly spoken. This is by T.A. Lawrence as well. Um... So, with this one, I've actually started this one on Kindle, and then I don't know why I took a break, but I think it was because it was really long and I was hitting a buxom. So, but the thing is, this it was actually really, really good. So, basically, the, I think he's a fey king. So, every, it's like every day or every moon cycle or something like that, he finds a new bride and he, he opts them. He's, you know, <coughs> and so this girl volunteers and she's slightly disfigured so this girl volunteers herself because she thinks that her sister is going to get picked so she volunteers to be the king's bride and he doesn't you know he doesn't right away so and she tells some stories i feel like that's some kind of retelling about something but i don't know anyways yes I also have Hades and Persephone. This is by Lisa Vino and Stasia Black. Ow, my jaw. TMG sucks. Okay. A, I got it because it's a Hades and Persephone retelling. B, a book too, but I really like said she liked this book, so I got it into it. I think that was Rachel from Raven Hair Reader. It might have been. I think it was her. So I got this. Or was it Becca from Becca's books? Nope, I can't remember. But anyways, one of them said it, and it sounded awesome because it's Hades and Persephone, and I will eat that shit up all day long. This is Illicit <laughs> Temptation by Katie Robert. Like I said, if she writes it, I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna support her. Girls parting gores. Gers. <laughs> we love that. Evidently, it's like two stories in one, like sh two short little mini movies. Okay. Next, we have My Vampire Plus One. This is by Jenna Levine. She's the author of My Roommate is a Vampire. And it just sounds like a good, fun, spooky time. So, let's read the back, because I didn't even do that when I saw it in the store. I just picked it up, because it was cute. Here we go. <laughs> Amelia Collins is, by definition, successful. She would even go so far as to say successfully single, but not according to her family. She's tired of the constant questions about her non-existent dating life. When, invite, when an invitation to yet another family wedding arrives, she decides to get everyone off her back once and for all by finding someone, anyone to pose as her date. 
After a chance encounter with Reginald Cleves, Amelia decides he's perfect for her purpose. He's a bit strange, but that's fine. They'll discourage tough questions from her family, and it certainly doesn't hurt that he's very handsome. For centuries-old vampire Reggie, posing as her plus one sounds like the ultimate fun, and if it helps his ruse of pretending to be human so much, uh, so much the better. As Amelia and Reggie practice their faux mans, it becomes clear that Reggie is, a lo is as loyal to her as the day is long, and that Amelia's first impression could not have been more wrong. Suddenly, being in a real relationship with Reggie sounds it's pretty fantastic. Ah, I love when people say fantastic. That's so cute. It's giving Monster High. Yeah, I like it. Anyways, is this the second book in this series? Oh no. This might be the second, or it's the first. I do not know. But this is Grimstone by Sophie Lark. I just love Sophie Lark's writing, so I really wanted to get this one. Oh, here's, here's what the back says. I thought I wanted to make her scream, but now I want to make her smile too. It doesn't matter what order. That sounds really cute, but I don't know if this is the first or the second in the series. So hold on. Let's look. Oh, I love that Sophie Lark puts. Oh, and there's contest, content warnings. Ah. Hold on. Let's see if this is the first book in said series. It's not telling me. Maybe. Hold on. Ah, ha, ha, ha. No, Grimstone's the first. Awesome. Cool, cool. This is the first book in the series. I'm guessing Monarch is next. All right. Now, we also have Now You're Mine. This is the second book in the Possessing Her series by Morgan. Bridges. I really don't know that much about it, but evidently, once he stalked her, he got her. Dark Romance, check your trigger warnings. This is another book of the month book. This is actually my add-on. This is Vilest Things by Chloe Gong. So I already have The Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong, and this is the second book in that series. So I wanted to get And I wanted them to match, because that was really important. Because here, like, look at this. This, awesome. Perfectly matched even the little corner so that is why I got that then we also have Phantasma this is my book of the month pick for September and it just sounded super cool because evidently it's like um so it's like a gothic romance but I think it was um Someone said it was like giving Phantom of the Opera vibes, but I'm not 100% positive that was right. But it's not a dope. It was gothic romance. I'm here for it. And look at the skull. Awesome. It's taking forever. Sorry. I bought a lot of books. I don't even know how many we bought. I should have counted. I didn't. Okay, so this is The 13th Child. This is by Erin A. Craig. And I actually like her writing. I have um, the house of salt and sorrow and then i have the house of root and ruin i think she's an amazing author and then on top of it this is actually a reimagining of a hold on it's gonna come back to me come on one of the grim brothers stories <laughs> yeah so it's a re it's a reimagining of one of the grim brothers stories so I thought that sounded super interesting because I enjoy the Brothers Grimm. And look at this naked hardcover. Excuse you. Excuse you. Mind your business. Look at that naked hardcover. That is beautiful. I love that books are doing this now. And like the in pages, the sprayed edges. This is actually the Barnes & Noble exclusive. So I don't know if they're all like that. But yeah, that's gorge. All I know is it's a Grimm's Brothers reimagining. So that's where you had me and it was pretty and I like Aaron A. Craig's writing so we got that next this is the last book the very last book okay we are we made it we made it high five to y'all if you made it this far leave a book stack comment book stack emoji in the comment section if you made it this far because thank you I truly appreciate you okay last book this is an academy for liars and this is by Alexis Henderson so pretty much Oh, my hip hop. Sorry, I gotta adjust. I'm old. 
<laughs> so I actually was looking and I saw this article and it was like fan it was like new fantasy releases to look forward to in September and this was on there and it sounded really cool so it's giving like dark academia vibes so our MFC pretty much has like she finds out that she has these powers and then she's sent to an actual like academy for you know the academy for liars so she's sent to this and they pretty much have to figure out like how to use their powers and you know work along together with other people in there but then something happens and yeah it sounded really cool so i got it and i'm so excited oh that Ow. Was a lot of books. I don't even know how many we have. Okay, hold on. I'll count. We got 48 books. Yeah, that's not that bad. It is three months. So, that is my reasoning. It's, it's three months of book shopping. So, if you made it this long, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. You know, um, if you've read any of the books that I've mentioned here, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'd really appreciate it. Tell me your thoughts, um, how you felt about it, anything to look forward to, and um, books you, you've picked up. I don't, I mean, I want to know what you're shopping for because you're kind of nosy. I like things like that. So, if you like this video, like it if you want to subscribe if you know you had a fun time i'd love to have you and i hope to see you again i hope you have a great morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and as always be bold bright and beautiful but most importantly be yourself that's all i got so bye yeah i never met someone like you oh to your mama she a blessing there's nothing that i would undo